Hello everybody, it is time for the Big Tree Tech Octopus Pro review. Uh, so quick disclaimer, uh, Big Tree Tech did send me an Octopus Pro and two drivers to uh, sample out. Uh, however, uh, I have had already planned on running these boards since I heard they were coming. So uh, I have a second Octopus Pro that is uh, actually running in the printer now. You can probably hear the printer in the background. Uh, so with that out of the way, uh, let's get into it. So uh, if you are just coming into this review and do not understand uh, what this board is about or why this board is different than the regular Octopus, then I'll give you a quick one minute history. Uh, so about a year ago, uh, Big Tree Tech put out the original um, Octopus board uh, somewhere around a year ago, maybe less, probably less. Um, this is a really great um, eight driver board. It's packed with tons of features. I've done a separate review on this board. Um, about it, uh, at about that same time, uh, Annex Engineering started with um, the uh, uh, Benchy races. Uh, so people were pushing their 3D printers really fast, uh, running uh, crazy, crazy hardware, crazy steppers, crazy voltages, uh, and that is starting to ramp up in popularity. So uh, Big Tree Tech jumped in and said, "Hey, we're going to take our our you know our full feature board and we're going to add some things onto it. We're going to call it the Pro." And we're going to release those and new high voltage drivers. We're going to make all the, the performance nuts and the people that want all the extra features happy. So here we are. The new hardware is just now coming out. Again, I got sent one for review. I also got my own. They both came exactly the same day in the mail. Uh, so um, let's, uh, let's just do a rundown on the board real fast. So let me zoom in here. Uh, so this is the Octopus Pro. Uh, it will look very, very familiar to you if you have seen a octopus, regular octopus board. All your inputs are on the left. All the features, um, I'm going to go over a few key features here, but I did a more full review about what all the stuff is on the board uh, in the regular review. But I'm going to go over first what's different or what I have found is different uh, on the Pro board. Uh, so uh, the number one thing, the thing that people will be interested on are the um, ability to run higher voltage steppers. So if you look at this board, first thing you're going to notice is everything is raised really far off the board, uh, higher than the old board. You can see the old board uh, is not, everything's not nearly as high. It's kind of your standard height standoffs. Uh, Big Tree Tech had to raise everything on the uh, driver area because uh, they had to put higher voltage steppers uh, underneath each of the drivers. So it's got this bigger capacitor underneath the drivers. Interestingly, these capacitors are still slightly under what TMC um, recommends for um, higher amperage uh, draws. Uh, they recommend um, 220 microfarads per uh, amp and these are uh, I'm sorry 100 microfarads per amp and I believe these are actually 100 microfarad uh, capacitors so they're kind of keyed for a uh, one amp drive um, but anyway these uh, these capacitors are rated for 63 volts now you'll see big tree big tree tech uh, push real hard that these are these are these can run 60 volts uh, I want to temper that a little bit. Uh, they are 63 volt capacitors. You don't want to run those near 63 volts. You want to give yourself a little bit of leeway. Uh, so yeah, it can run 60 volts, but this board, this board is really suited for, uh, and you're going to have the best time sourcing materials for running this at 48 volts. That's going to be your sweet spot on this board. So let me get back to the board here. Uh, so the higher standoffs, the other feature that's different in the driver area is the set of jumpers, or uh, these jumpers for each of the drivers. Um, I really like this. Um, what Big, Big Tree Tech did is first, all of these are high voltage. So there's eight drivers and they can all do high voltage, but each one is selectable. So you can do either high voltage or you can run it off of the 24 volt board power that you would normally put in on one of these type boards. So if you don't want to buy the high voltage uh, drivers for all of your steppers, and they are they are a little expensive, uh, they're going to be. I'm I'm just going to swag on the price here, but 10 to 15 dollars a step a driver. They are a little more expensive. So maybe you're building a printer and you only want two of your steppers to be uh, extra you know extra speedy. 
then you can uh, jump her. You can say you put them here and you could jump her these two for the high voltage up here. And then the rest of them could be jumpered for board voltage, 24 volts. So I thought that was really cool. So you can run as many or as few high voltage drivers as you want on this board. So I really like that. Um, let's see, um, the other thing, uh, one other smaller thing that is different on this board, it's small in size, I don't know how much it really uh, makes a difference, but uh, there are a row of extra um, components here, right along here, they're not present on the old board. And I'm told that these are level shifting um, chips on the on this board. And so these are on the pro board and I'm told that this is a quality improvement on this type of board. I don't know if it was needed for the voltage differences or something like that, but I'm told that that's a good sign that those are on the new board. Um, so uh, the other, uh, one of the other improvements is uh, PT100. So uh, there's the PT100 uh, amplifier uh, on the old board. Uh, they left a spot for it uh, right here, but didn't include the chip. So um, your PT100 would be unamplified, uh, but they've uh, put the uh, amplifier board here and then the uh, dip switch for it, uh, set settings are for it here. Uh, while we're on this area of the board, uh, something else I noticed, was, which was kind of kind of interesting, I think it's kind of cool. Um, they have now have a light and a buzzer for um, power regulator overload. So if you short out your five volt uh, five volt uh, load on this board, uh, the buzzer will sound. Uh, and actually when you power off this board, all well, the voltages start sagging and the board starts turning off. And that, fraction of a second after it's turned off, you'll actually hear the buzzer cry out because of, volt because of what the voltages are doing. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, I'll give you a couple install notes uh, on this board. Uh, I think that wraps up the major new features on this board. I mean, they are, they are major. But one thing to remember, uh, this board, this board is, is still, is, is very well priced, I think. Um, I paid uh, in the $40 range, uh, 40 45 dollars for this for one of these for myself they're they're not very expensive and they are cram packed and that gets me to my next point um is that they are cram packed to the degree that there is no silt screening basically on this board it's very hard to see what is what on this board uh so uh highly advise when you get this board um flip the board over and take a picture of the back. All of the uh, instructional silk screening is on the back. It has all your, um, you know, what what pins are what, uh, what the polarities are. Uh, the polarities are important. If you run an older Big Tree Tech board, uh, these polarities are different. I have a SKR Pro 1.2, and the polarities are different. So uh, watch out for that. Uh, and then all the silk screenings on the back. Uh, Big Tree Tech already has the pins file on their GitHub. So you can also print that out and it'll uh, give you all of this uh, info that's on the back as well. Um, the last thing I wanted to show on this board, which uh, is just an improvement over their much older boards, but uh, if you look at their SKR Pro 1.2, and this is on both of the Octopuses, but they have uh, really improved on the connections for the fans. Um, I know, I know not everyone's a fan of JST connectors, but all the fans are JST connectors rather than this green, um, uh, uh, it's the kind of connector you put a ferrule in or a wire end in. And these green types have, there's just a bent piece of metal in there with a screw going down on top of it. And they're hard to work with if you ever need to pull something out and put a new wire in, or if you're putting a larger wire in, it, you have to jam something in there and bend that little tab up on these. I don't really, I really don't like these. Uh, the new board does not have that type of connector. It only has the um, these bigger style here that have the little carriage that moves up and down in them. And then all the fans are on JST connectors. Um, and this is just like the regular octopus board and it's another thing i really like is that uh these are all voltage selectable so you have eight fans and uh either five or six of them are uh, actually pwm controllable and then the others are straight voltage but they all are selectable for voltage 5 12 and 24 volt i was able to pull a buck converter uh, or two out of my uh, big printer by um having these you can just plug in your 12 volt direct here change your jumper and you can run whatever you like 
Um, I think that's it for the board. Uh, that's that's the differences between it and the regular board. Again, I did a full uh, a full run through on the regular board where I go over all these components and all the connectors. Um, recommend you try that if you still have questions about the things you see on top of this board. All right. Uh, the other thing uh, I wanted to do show and tell on was the driver. Uh, so um, Big Tree Tech obviously had to include uh, drivers with um, with this uh, release. So uh, these are TMC 5160. Uh, they're high voltage capable. They're capable of the same 60, 63 volts. Um, they're advertising, again, these have 63 volt capacitors. I would run these at 48 volts. That's, what this, that's where you're gonna be going with these, is running these at 48 volts. Um, these are, I do wanna compare, show this w against the uh, German drivers. Uh, they are materially uh, different than the German drivers. Um, let's see if I'm trying to remember which way I've got these. I'll go this way. So this is the this is the big tree tech on the right versus the German driver on the left. And I'm not really qualified to talk about quality or, or, or difference in components, but they are quite different. Um, the um, 5160 has external MOSFETs, MOSFETs in their different location, different size on these boards. Uh, and if you look at the underside, you'll also see that the components are different. Uh, there is, looks like one capacitor here and two over here on the Big Tree Tech uh, board. And then these components are laid out differently. So just wanted to highlight that Big Tree Tech actually did, it looks like they actually did uh, their own work and made the board that they wanted to. Uh, I also want to say that um, I am running one of the Octopus Pro boards uh, in the printer uh, behind me here. Uh, it's actually running as we speak, show it running here. Uh, that printer is running the Octopus Pro and one of the Big Tree Tech 5160 high voltage drivers uh, on one of the uh, X steppers. Um, works great. Um, I did not have to do any TMC flags or anything special in Clipper, uh, which uh, was uh, is different than running some of the older um, older Big Tree Tech 5160s. Sometimes you have to set some of the registry of flags uh, appropriately for those those uh, boards. These new boards they go right in just like the German boards. Um, they work perfectly. Uh, in fact, they're working. Um, this printer has two steppers on the each of the the um, X and Y axis, and the X axis is running one German driver and one uh, Big Tree Tech driver. They're working together in tandem, no no worries. Uh, so that printer is running on 48 volts. Everything on it's 48 volts. Uh, works beautifully. Uh, I am still testing upper limits on the board and my printer. Uh, that's going to take some time. Uh, I actually found that I believe my power supply is a little undersized. Um, I want to give a quick uh, reminder about uh, in a previous video I did on 48 volt uh, systems. Um, and my recommendation is generally still the same. Um, you generally want to run a 100 watt. 48 volt power supply, uh, Meanwhile makes an LRS power supply, it's 100 watts. If you're gonna run two high volt steppers, so if you're gonna run a Voron with the A and B motors, high voltage, run a 100 watt power supply, 48 volts for those two. If you're gonna run the whole board, uh, seven or eight steppers, you know, Voron would be seven steppers on a you know, K3, it'd be eight steppers. If you're gonna run a full board, then I would run the 200 watt. You can either run the LRS 200 watt, or uh, my preference lately has been the UHP 200 watts. Um, those are still my sizing recommendations. Um, the printer in front of you here is extra spicy. It's running two and a half amp, amp steppers. It's running two amp 60 millimeter steppers for the Z, and I'm running uh, an extruder all on 200 watts. And I'm finding that I believe it's probably almost not enough. Um, so doing some more testing. I'll have some more updates later. Um, find me on Twitter. I usually post small updates on Twitter. Um, and, uh, you know, I may do a, a, a long-term review on the Big Tree Tech board uh, at, at a later date. Uh, but so far, uh, it's looking really good. Um, I definitely recommend this board. Uh, uh, recommend the board and the drivers. They're both fantastic. Um, hope that helped you out. Have a good day.